Hi there. So one of the most common questions I get asked from my patients is, why does my gut get so much worse when I'm under stress? And I wanted to make a video that explained the gut-brain access and this two-way connection. So under stress, we move into a state of hyperarousal or fight or flight. And in that time, blood flow doesn't go to the gut as much because it goes to the areas that we need for fighting or fleeing. So this might be the muscles of the arms or the legs. And this process decreases motility in the gut, so movements through the gut. And this can result in things like constipation, but it can also result in SIBO, so small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, because there's a slowing down of movement. And it can also cause people to feel things like nausea. They can have a flare up of things like GERD or reflux as well. If that stress keeps going, or for someone who moves into a state of hypo arousal or shutting down, they can have the opposite effect and actually end up emptying their bowels and having more pain. And the other thing that happens under stress is anxiety actually makes the stomach more acidic. Now, the stomach naturally does have a low pH or it is quite acidic, but when it becomes too acidic from that anxiety and stress, it actually changes the gut microbiome. And so we know that in the gut, microbes that are pathogenic or we'll say bad microbes, they actually thrive in an acidic environment. Now, we don't wanna get rid of the bad micro microbes and, and just keep the good. What we want is diversity in the gut microbiome. And so when we have an increase in those pathogenic microbes, that actually affects our neurotransmitters. So the neurotransmitters communicate from the gut up to the brain and they're things like GABA. So GABA is a neurotransmitter which has an anti-anxiety effect. And so the pathogenic microbes can actually consume GABA. And when those levels are less, we are more likely to have anxiety. And also with serotonin. So 95% of the body's serotonin is stored in the gut. So when that's affected through the microbiome, it means that we're more likely to have depression. So neurotransmitters are really important for how we feel, um, and that's all coming from the microbiome. The other thing that we know that happens is that the microbiome will have an effect on the fibers of the vagus nerve. So the fibers that are in the gut, they can be affected by the state of the microbiome. And this can communicate to the brain in subcortical areas or areas that are below the level of conscious awareness. And they can affect our mood, they can affect decisions that we make, they can affect the actions that we take without us consciously being aware of it. So the vagus nerve is so important in this gut-brain access. It's actually the main communicator um, for this highway. And then finally, we know that there's an effect from the gut microbiome on the immune and endocrine systems, and that has a flow on effect to affecting our autonomic nervous system. So the key to this is really looking at where we can make the biggest difference. And we know that stress is best managed with bottom up processes, which means where we go into the body to influence the mind. So one of the, my favorite practices to use with patients is to stimulate the vagus nerve in a good way. So sending those positive signals to the brain that things are good in the stomach coming from down here. And that's one of the practices or many of the practices that we use in the vagus nerve workshops, the masterclasses, and also the programs. And we really wanna have a look at the gut microbiome. So looking at improving that so that the neurotransmitters improve and that affects the brain, our mood, our thoughts, our feelings. And of course, looking at how our stress resilience is, is going to make a big difference. So that stress resilience we know is our ability to, to recover from challenges and setbacks and adversities. And the vagus nerve is also the thing that helps us with that. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can get started working with your vagus nerve, have a look below in what's coming up um, in terms of classes, programs, and I'd love to have you join me if it's something that you think will help you and if you have any gut issues.